I've just had a big box delivered. So, let's see what's in it. I don't normally do unboxing videos because I don't really see the point. But what's in here I'm going to do a comprehensive review on. So it's probably quite important to let you know how well it's packaged and all that sort of stuff. Pretty good look, look <laughs> so far. That's probably going to be very handy. That looks interesting too. Let's actually let's see what's in that now. Gasket. What's of this? Oh, it's getting big stuff there. There's big stuff here. It is actually all very well packaged and the box isn't damaged or anything and it's come halfway around the world. So I'm pretty pleased about that. There was an option to get all this lot in black, but I like shiny things and there's a lot of black on the bike already, so I went for not black. Oh, this is so good, there's so many things in here. I'm probably going to have to speed this film up. Let's get, let's get this out. That's the most important bit, I reckon. And that's probably the most beautiful bit. And that, that's loose in the box. else in there. I know where that goes. It's actually good to film this because then I can also document exactly what I've got. I'll know whether anything's missing because I go back and look at the film to see if I've actually had it or not. Maybe there's a checklist somewhere. That's probably a good idea to look at that. There is one. That's a crankcase breathing filter. Pipe work. Pipe work. Which is black, which is good. It's not a stupid blue colour or anything. That's nice. I like things like this. More aluminium bits. I do love aluminium. That there is a plenum chamber, I reckon. Well, that's nice. It's a little oil cooler. I'd rather it was aluminium rather than black, though. I'm not into black, or well, not too much of it anyway. But this is actually a complete kit. Everything you need to bolt on the bike and get it going. Yes, I'm glad about this. I was worried this was gonna come black, but as it happens, it's aluminium, so that's gonna look really cool, that intercooler. Lots of nuts and bolts and fittings. <laughs> yep. Now this, I reckon, is pistons. Yep, that's what that is. That's pistons. They're lower compression pistons so that I can actually run the smaller pulley which I think gives it 16 PSI boost. Clutch springs. Idle pulley. That's the outer cover. 
do have a polish actually, it's got a lot of machining marks in it. They've gone through the trouble of putting TTS performance on there, but it's still. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. That's easily polished. Hoses. That is the voltage clamp. Not sure what that's for. I'll read that later. Figure that out. Another bit of pipe, I reckon. This one probably goes to the air filter. So I know a little bit about this already because I have watched videos from TTS. That's actually a really nice sort of spun aluminium finish. I like that. Air filter. Now this, I reckon. is dump valve yes it is this this may be a problem in this country I might have to get a different saw because this one bends to open air and I don't think you're allowed to do that here this is taking some time our oh, fluid filter so that's for the oil that's that's a horrible big thing I don't like that I'm gonna have to try and hide that somewhere maybe Right, that's the 80 mil pulley. I did actually order both pulleys, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I haven't seen the other one. Right, that's it then. That's all my supercharger bits. Pretty pleased with that. Oh, hang on. Maybe you should look at this bit. Yeah, this has a pulley on it. That there is way bigger than I thought it would be. That's, that's, that's the main bit. We'll work out what we need to do with that later. So there you go. I'm gonna be very busy. <laughs>